so I'll get right to it. Earlier this year, when we revealed Valorant, we also announced a very aspirational launch date of summer 2020. And we've been wanting to get you this game to help brighten these tough times. But as it turns out, we're not going to be launching this game in a few months. Because we're launching it in a few weeks. Well, now that was out of the blue. That was exciting. Hi everyone, I bet you're all wondering what I was barking about there. Well, you'll find out in no time, as we will touch upon the latest in the gaming world this week. Okay, no more out of context teasers. Let's dive into this week's gaming news. Because we're launching it in a few weeks. Has teased? Pretty exciting. And it's official. Riot is launching Valorant on June the 2nd. And with this, they announced a lot of other stuff as well. So for starters, the closed beta key drops are gone. So I guess there will be a lot of disappointed people that didn't receive their key yet. Just to be the devil's advocate here, at this point, you probably couldn't do much more than try it for a little while, and that's because closed beta will also be going down on 28th of May. Coward, run. What does that mean for people that actually played Valorant closed beta for a while now? Well, if you're in this category, here is what you need to know about your in-game progression. You will be able to keep whatever you earned in closed beta player pass, which will include Gun Buddy. But your progression will be reset. Also, for those that purchased Valorant points, Riot says this, and I quote, Your store purchase won't carry over, but your Valorant points will, with a 20% bonus. So if you bought 1000 Valorant points, you will have 1200 Valorant points at launch. It doesn't matter if you spent those points or not. Last player standing. What's another death? Clutch. Apart from this, Riot is not going to come empty-handed at launch. They do mention that they will come out with new agents, new maps, new skins, and new gameplay modes. However, they did not mention what exactly we will be expecting. So, according to them, no spoilers. But nonetheless, that's still exciting to hear. First, we want to thank all of you for coming on this journey with us. All of you, even those of you that are still waiting to play, are the beginnings of a global community of players that we hope to serve for years or maybe even decades to come. Well, that's nice and good, Riot. But we do need to also address the elephant in the room. Yes, I'm talking about Vanguard. Now listen, I do realize that it's a new technology and you need to optimize it to get rid of most cheaters. But don't experiment on players' hardware. There have been reports of people with overheating components on their computers. And yes, it's okay that you are aware of this and you are transparent and mention this as well in your posts. But stop being so intrusive with that damn thing, especially if you risk damaging players' property. You tell them, Omen. You forget your place. Now, to end this article on a positive note, I will mention that I'm actually excited for Valorant, since I did manage to play quite a bit of closed beta, and I kind of liked it. No more meddling. After the official release, here on Playful Cerberus, we will also be doing a review on it. So stay tuned, and feel free to engage with us in our comment section, especially now, cause we'd really love to know your opinions on Valorant. The Emperor sends forth his angels!
Okay, first of all, I do need to issue an apology to all who are expecting that I will talk about a Warhammer 40k video game here, after watching this awesome trailer. And may the Emperor, and uh, especially the Inquisition, forgive my heresy here. Because this is actually a trailer for Games Workshop 9th edition of Warhammer 40k. So for those that don't know, all this fuss is actually for a tabletop game. Even in the face of death, we shall not submit. However, I'm not just reporting this because I have a soft spot for this particularly grim universe. It's also because the video game industry, and not only, will most surely be affected by the 9th edition of 40k. Now I will mention that this is mostly speculation, but I have a feeling that Games Workshop ain't going to just stop at releasing some updates for their tabletop games. The new Dawn of Fire series has just been announced for their Black Library. And just take a look at who's on the cover of the first Avenging Sun novel. Yep, Robute Gilliman himself, the first Primarch to return to the Imperium of Man. And again, this information is telling, cause I don't think Games Workshop is going to skip on the gaming industry this edition. And oh man, I'd really want to see some actual gameplay with a Primark. The trailer itself is also a bit telling, cause there are some really good clues about what we could expect from the next 40k game. For example, 1. Games Workshop did mention something about the return of the Silent King. And well, we can see his minions in the clip, as the Imperium forces are fighting Necrons. 2. I do think that Gilliman's Ultramarines chapter will probably see a lot of action in the upcoming 40k games. Or at the very least, I imagine they will be present and have a role to play. So yes, some pretty interesting stuff there, Games Workshop. And I do hope to see some 40k games being revealed in the near future. For in this new dark age, there is only war.